everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, and we glorify you, Lord, for this Sabbath day that you have given us. Thank you for this day of rest where we can lay aside all of our cares and worries and focus completely on you. Father, thank you for this day that we don't have to worry about school or work or anything else. We can just be in your presence. Father God, we glorify you because of your love for us and the sacrifice of your son Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Father, I ask that if there is anything in my heart or in my mind or in my life that I have done that does not please you, that offends you or those that you love, I ask that you will forgive me. Bring to mind the details so that I can confess them, and not just with a blanket prayer of repentance, but truly see where I have sinned so that I can make it right before you and before others. Father God, thank you so much for your grace and mercy that you pour out each and every day. Father, I ask that as we continue on this day that you will be with all of those who are preaching, who are directing, who are taking part in the service, who are making things happen behind the scenes like the audio and visual. Father, all of the plans that have been made for the services today, I ask that your Holy Spirit would be in the midst of us. Teach us, guide us, direct us, show us what is true, what is right, what is noble, what is good. Father, allow us to focus our eyes, our minds, our hearts on you in this day. Give us that rest. Give us that spiritual rest, Lord, that we can only find in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, The Canaanite Woman. It was written by Merari Martinez and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. So says the word of God. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. In the Bible, we find the story of a woman whose name we do not know. St. Matthew called her the Canaanite woman. This woman had a daughter with an unclean spirit, and when she heard about Jesus, she came and fell at his feet, begging him to heal her daughter. Lord, help me, she said, and he replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Faith and love go together. They cannot be separated. To believe in someone, you have to love them, know them. The humility of this woman impresses me. I want to love the Lord as she loved him, who had faith to seek him in her great need. 
And when he treats her with those harsh words to test her faith, she bows down and waits for the crumbs. This story comforts us and fills us with hope. Does he take his time to answer you? Don't stop. Throw yourself at his feet. Do you think his words are very harsh? Acknowledge your lowliness. Knowing Jesus, we know that he does not despise anyone who comes to his feet. When we pour out our soul, there is Jesus. Then he said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed. Amen. My brothers and sisters, are you in need this morning, this afternoon, this evening? Is there something that's weighing so heavy on your heart? Are you waiting for that miracle, that change, that transformation, that solution to the problem that you have been facing for so very long? My brothers and sisters, fall at the feet of Jesus. He may have harsh words for you, but acknowledge how low we are and worship your creator. He may take time to answer you, but don't stop coming to his feet, throwing yourself at the foot of the cross. My brothers and sisters, the Lord knows all things. He is all knowing. He knows every detail of the situation that you face. He knows every detail about your trauma, about your sorrow, about your suffering. He knows every single detail. My brothers and sisters, don't stop. Keep throwing yourself at his feet, just like this Canaanite woman. In all reality, This Canaanite woman was not a Jew. She was not from the people of Israel. And Jesus told her very clearly that he was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But this did not discourage this woman, my brothers and sisters, who was fighting for the life of her child. She kept on and threw herself at his feet and worshipped him. And Jesus' heart was moved with mercy. And he acknowledged her great faith and he granted her the desire of her heart. My brothers and sisters, whatever it is that you are fighting for, whether it is a lost daughter like this Canaanite woman or a lost son or a prodigal child or a prodigal spouse to return or a sickness or illness or situation that doesn't seem to have any hope whatsoever, my brothers and sisters, keep fighting. Keep worshiping the Lord your God. Keep throwing yourself at his feet and he will answer you. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Dusty ground, I 
bow with kings Where wise men laid before their offerings I lay no golden crown here at your feet Just this my broken life I offer thee You are the God of the broken, the friend of the weak. You wash the feet of the weary, embrace the ones in need. I want to be like you, Jesus, to have this heart in me. You are the God. the God of the broken, friend of the weak. You wash the feet of the weary, embrace the ones in need. I want to be like you, Jesus, to have this heart in me. You are the God of Amen. What a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, as we continue through the book of Nehemiah. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <laughs>